Hey there! Welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. In this video, we'll cover the major features of the .NET framework, as well as its architecture components and benefits. Watch this video to learn how .NET solves the biggest problems of software development. On this channel, we share our best practices and the hottest tech trends. So, subscribe not to miss them. What is the .NET Framework? The .NET Framework is an open source Microsoft development framework that offers a wide range of tools for building web and mobile apps. There are two .NET implementations, .NET Core and the .NET Framework. In this video, we will be focusing on the latter. .NET is an intermediate bytecode language that requires a runtime interpreter to implement. Each implementation of .NET consists of the following major components. Common Language Runtime, CLR, a platform that allows libraries and programming languages to work together, Class Library, Common Language Specification, Additional Frameworks and Development Tools. Our dev teams highlight the following advantages of using the .NET Framework for application development. Shared Code Libraries, No Writing from Scratch, Code Access Security, Built-in UI Controls, Great Caching System, and easy deployment and maintenance. So why is .NET Framework considered one of the top development frameworks? The biggest problem with software development is complexity, and .NET solves it. Do you agree? Share your thoughts in the comments section. In fact, .NET Framework states the following objectives. Easy development. Features like language interoperability and extended class library allow programmers to quickly and easily produce software. The four ITIES. The four ITIES are reliability, compatibility, scalability, and security. The .NET Framework is a highly scalable and reliable platform, as it secures its applications by assigning access rights to specific users. The .NET Framework has also maximized its backward compatibility. And finally, high performance. Thanks to .NET Just-in-Time Compiler, which performs a speedy and smooth code execution, the machine code can be obtained in a more efficient way. If you are interested to learn more about .NET, we recommend reading our blog post on ASP.NET. Find the link in the description box. And we go on. Let's now review the .NET framework architecture in detail. The architecture consists of three components. The first one is Common Language Runtime, CLR. This component handles running apps and manages other system services, such as memory, garbage collection, security, or exception handling. The second component is class library. It includes subsets of reusable code that can be called to perform a specific task. It is the foundation on which .NET Framework apps, components, and controls are built. You can see the namespaces and namespace categories in the class library on the screen right now. The third component is app models. The .NET Framework provides a variety of tools to develop certain types of apps. Examples of such tools are WinForms, ASP.NET, and ADO.NET. WinForms is used for designing forms-based applications, which would run on Windows Desktop. ASP.NET is used for designing and developing modern web apps, and ADO.NET is used to develop and control web apps that provide consistent access to databases, such as XML or Microsoft SQL Server, and can be run on Linux and Mac. And that's it with our brief overview of .NET Framework. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Jelvik's team provides software development, UI UX design, and IT consulting services. If you are looking for expert devs, find our contacts in the description box. On this channel, we share our experience and insights in the tech industry. So, hit the subscribe button not to miss anything. Share the topic you're interested in under this video to see it next time. Hit the bell button and bye for now.